We had a lot of teachers that were on their laptops and I looked at the quality of those videos and it was always an upward shot and I really didn't like that. And I thought, well, if I can see my students like that, what do I look like? And now in the high school division of the 2023 Hikino on PBS Hawaii Winter Challenge. Receiving an honorable mention is Roosevelt High School on Oahu. Congratulations. This is the sound that students hear whenever they enter Mr. Cam, the STEM and coding teacher's room, where teachers and students lounge around at lunch and after school. Over the pandemic, Mr. Cam has been working on his room, hoping to make it inspirational for his students. At the very start of distance learning, because of COVID, we had a lot of teachers that were on their laptops, and I looked at the quality of those videos, and it was always an upward shot, meaning I'm looking into somebody's nose, right? Even when I with, interact with my students, I'm staring up their nose and this weird angle at their face, and I, and I really didn't like that. And I thought, well, if I can see my students like that, what do I look like? He started his YouTube channel posting coding tutorials with him in his kitchen to slowly upgrading his setups during virtual learning. Even through distance learning, uh, I would come back to my classroom and I just make change. I mean, what a perfect time. There's no students here. There's nobody to bother me. I can saw, cut wood, make noise. Uh, the power tools are loud, but I can design things. I can paint. I can, I can do all of these things without being bothered. I thought that was a perfect time. This is a terrible situation. I hate every minute of it, but let's go ahead and create something different that someone's going to enjoy and say like, this is what you did. This is what you did while everyone was home sleeping. This is what you did while everyone was home trying to study. And this is what you did when um, people needed you the most. The feeling of need has made Mr. Cam dedicate hours after hours into this project. All of this stuff, all of this design stuff took about three years. I'm gonna keep changing things around and the minute I receive funding or you know donations that I can, I can make changes. In fact, some of the lamps that I get, some of the furniture that I get are not bought. I, I fished them out of the dumpster. Mr. Cam's idea of converting his room not only created a spacious and creative classroom, but also the start of a new curriculum. It really just started from designing the classroom because I figured if kids are already gonna be in here because they, they look at the design aesthetic and they see all the studio space, then I'm like, well, let's build you a little studio space. Let's build a public studio space that students can use to practice. And then from there, I'm like, well, why can't we just make this an entire curriculum? Why can't we just teach them how to speak and how to be, um, how to be productive conversationalists? As a teacher going through the pandemic, Mr. Cam believes that people should embrace change, especially during a time like this. If we don't do it, then we're gonna stagnate. And I don't wanna be stagnant. I wanna be dynamic. And I want to show the students that if I can be dynamic and I can create this change, then I should lead by example, by saying this is something that you can do too. It shouldn't just be me. This is Jayan Kao from Roosevelt High School for Hikino on PBS Hawaii.